Hey guys, this is Hendu Jr. Welcome to the channel. This is the next episode of uh, Pokemon XD. So, we just finished dealing with him. These guys are all pretty easy to deal with, but it helps that all my Pokemon are a little high in level compared to the rest of them. You want to battle with me, don't you? I can tell. I was seized by that urge, too. And honestly, I'm going to try my best to uh, keep these... My, keep my Pokemon at a level that is just slightly over theirs. Only reason for that is because it makes it just that much easier on me. I, I know, it doesn't really play proper with certain things, but oh well. Alright, so Mega Drain on Swinub and Aurora Beam on Bagon. I do know that there's a lot of people out there that would rather keep their levels alongside the rest of them. But if you keep your levels at the same as the the mob characters, you're asking to get your ass handed to you when you go and fight against one of the uh, Cipher Adamans or someone of a higher level. So, doesn't really help. Besides that, I think it would be a lot of avoided fights to be able to pull something like that off and you'd probably end up missing out on a couple of shadow Pokemon if you were trying to do that all right let's see so yeah we'll just do the same thing we did before because it's just, it'll work out that well. Hopefully. Alright, so there goes Swine Up. Yay! This feels level 21. Yay! Yeah, figures. Good chunk to health. Well, two points to health, one to everything else. Still doesn't really stand out as some more than a special attacker with some pretty good defenses. There goes Murkrow. And now Shroomish is level 21. Two to health and special defense and one to everything else. That's a little odd. Looking like uh, Shroomish is very defensive. And I'm not going to go against that. I do like having a defensive team, but I also kind of need to have some balance in there. You know, some... Special attack glass cannons and some physical attack glass cannons. It helps to have a balance all around. That way you have something for anything. But whatever. I'll work with it. So Clamperl's kind of screwed. <laughs> we'll use Mega Drain and Body Slam, I guess. I'm not so sure it's going to last against Mega Drain, but... And yeah, there we go. So Body Slam should be able to finish it off. Yep, there we go. Yeah, see, with the amount of experience that you get, I highly doubt you could actually keep your health, your level in tandem with the rest of them. I underestimated you thought you were just a kid. 
Yeah, a lot of people tend to do that. Not bad. It's not going to be this next time. Okay. So, Shroomish is still in actually great health, so I'll go ahead and swap out Sveal for Baltoy. Uh, let's save. I really don't want to have to repeat any fights. Long as it crashes either shortly after I've saved or right at the start of a next of a new fight, I should be good. But something tells me it's not going to do that. At some point it's going to wait right at the end of the fight and then crash on me again. I just I, I, it's a good feeling. That's just how I feel. Bonjour. Did you know? My Pokemon and I match tres bien. Three good? I, mm, I don't think I can ever lose now. I'll show you my aggressive style. Sure. Aggressive style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Machop and Tentacool. Unfortunately, both of them are weak to... Ball toy. However, Tentacool is the problem. I believe. Let me see here. So, Shroomish has 23 for speed. Ball toy has 31. So, Ball toy is the faster one. Unfortunately. I think I need to have Baltoy focus on Tentacool, so I'll have Shroomish, uh, Mega Drain, Machop. It doesn't really work right, but unfortunately, it's all I can really do. Because I need to deal with Tentacool. Tentacool. I'm not about to let it sit out there and... Damn it! That sucks. Well, at least he used Poison Sting this time around, so... Yeah, it's actually super effective against both my Pokémon. My game is absolutely freaking out. Of course it was poisoned, because why the hell not? And then it just regained all the damage that it took. So... <laughs> we'll see how this works. Oh boy. Chop's getting pumped. I don't like that. Alright, um... Go ahead and do the same thing. I do know that that leaves Machop out in the open, allowing it to pull off a crit, but... Tentacool honestly worried me more than Machop did. So... Oh, and he's only got Machop left. Psh. Yeah, Machop gets seriously hurt, and yeah. Cool. Uh-huh, yeah, figures. Cool. Oh, that's actually been used up. I don't know what I was trying to do. Um, alright, false swipe. It's not really going to help me any, but Baltoy should go first and take care of it, so. And that's this fight. I think it's time to, uh... Heal up a little bit. <laughs> Dan darn it all. Playing things too aggressively. Played things too aggressively. Okay, so... Poison Sting. And Focus Energy. And Karate Chop. Whereas I was doing Giga Drain and Psych Beam the entire time. You were kind of screwed. This can't be right. Fatine's fortune telling has a reputation of never being wrong. Ooh. Okay, save. Because, yes, 
I don't want to have to try and do that one again. All right, let's, uh, I hope the heal station up here is still there. It should be. I don't see why they would remove it. Ahaha. There we go. The one of three ways to heal in this city. And it's the cheap way. Because I am very picky about how I spend my money. I would rather waste my money on Pokeballs knowing that it will help me to catch something than waste it on healing. <laughs> you know? That's just me, though. I'm a little over the top when it comes to that kind of thing. All right, so next thing up is ONBS's station. Now, actually, this is kind of cool. There's actually a vending machine here, which allows me to buy different healing items. And comparatively speaking, I think these are cheaper than most other things. So fresh water is basically a potion. That might be about the same. Uh, soda pop is a little stronger than a potion, but a little weaker than a super potion. Or, a lot of weaker than a super potion. Lemonade is... I think just under a super potion? And then I think Moo Moo Milk is the same as a super potion, but I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shop. See. Just, just to be sure. Because sometimes you just, you just never really know. Anyway, hop in here. All right. Uh, yeah, so, a super potion. Really? Holy crap. Okay, so I was absolutely wrong. I don't know why I thought a potion did 50 points in health, but okay. Yeah, so a super potion is 700 and the cheapest one was at 200 and it matched this. So, yeah, okay. Uh, super potions are absolutely useless. I mean, compared to a vending machines stuff, yeah, no. Uh, I'd much rather just buy a few things from there and call it good. I would. Except for the fact that I've never used items playing through this game. So, yeah. I've... I have a bad habit of completely ignoring the items in this game. It's... The game is that easy. So, I spend a lot of my time basically just plowing through the game. No problems whatsoever. I even have such a bad tendency where I totally forget to equip my Pokemon with held items. Which is why I'm trying to do that with this time with this run. Trying to help my Pokemon out as best I can. So <clears throat> I almost never spend money on anything past Pokeballs and uh Pokesnacks. So that I can catch wild Pokemon. Welcome to ONBS. All visitors are free to wander the ONBS building and see our network and operation. My name is Meg, and I'm the official guide. Glad to meet you. Shroom. The Shroomish is my friend. Isn't it cute? We broadcast TV signals all across the ore region. I hope you'll take the time to see how we work. So yeah, the she's actually one of the four kids from the first game. Meg, Net, uh... I can't remember the rest of their names. I feel horrible. But they were relatively key members in the first game. And it was it was pretty wild. 
they actually help to figure out all the shadow Pokemon and help you to catch them. We're getting news reports from all over like we always do. Our reporters are keeping busy. The hottest news story going right now is the wild Pokemon story. It's become the latest craze. ONBS was founded by Sec and Net. There's one of the other ones. So, Net, Sec, and Meg. There's one other one, but I can't... Oh, that's right. He's the... It's the kid back at a... Um... The port. Gaton Port. He, uh... He's the one that set that, uh... The parts... Uh, shop. That's right. I totally forgot about that. It's now the biggest information network in the Ore region. Nowadays, SEC handles the business side of things and Net acts as the chief of engineering and technology. Oh, sorry. Maybe that was a little complicated. Feel free to wander and look around. You underestimate the intellect of this child. Mostly because this child's, you know, 29 playing you know uh, anyway moving on Roselle and Razzle and Dazzle are a hot new idol duo from Gaton Port they can sing dance and even perform magic stunts jeez okay then and up the elevator we go hop in here or, 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 network. Heck! Did you hear me? Oh no, it's so embarrassing. That was the ONBS song that I composed. It's catchy and memorable, don't you think? This should be... Sec. Yep, alright. Hi, welcome to ONBS. The name's Sec. I'm supposed to be in charge here. I'm glad to meet you. Started by five by kids five years ago during the shadow incident a tiny network has grown into this today i operate this place with my partner net we're convinced that reporting the unvarnished truth will be for the good of peace and justice anyways did you want something from me hindu jr passed off professor crane's message to sec you're kidding Cypher was using his desert lab again? Okay, understood. You should take that data ROM and show it to Net right away. I'm sure he can decipher whatever information is stored on that data ROM. Awesome. Let's go ahead and explore the place a little bit. It's locked. Cool. I'm hoping to put together a new Pokemon battle program. I'm getting information for it. I'm trying to decipher, or I'm trying to decide on the star. Hmm. Since it's a program about battling, I suppose the legendary trainer a gun would be the logical choice. Yeah, I suppose. Wow! I don't want. I don't know where my mommy is. Please, can you help me find my mommy? Sure. Yay! Thank you. I wonder where my mommy went. Little girl joined the party. Yay. Okay, so... I end up hearing the same things no matter what anyway. Okay, we're going live. Q. We bring you a special news bulletin. Professor Crane, the abducted head of the Pokemon HQ lab, has been safely rescued. Professor Crane had been held captive in Cypher's Desert Research Facility, which was widely believed to have been abandoned. Reports say that Professor Crane was rescued by a lone teen. The incident is evidence that Cypher has returned after apparently being crushed five years ago. The authorities fear that Cypher's return could result in more serious incidences. Citizens are urged to be vigilant and cautious. Hmm. 
Yeah, depending on where you're looking, that might be. Uh, uh oh, I just noticed. Okay, so I just noticed that the volume was really low, like to a point of barely showing up in some cases, and I greatly apologize for that. I did not realize that it was that low. I swear I do not mess with the volume, ever. So I'm kind of curious as to why that was like that. It might have been a lull in the music, I'm not sure. But let me know in the comments if it's working right or not, and I'll try and make sure it's prepped and fixed for the next episode. That's a wrap. Good job, Anka. Anka's looking great, like she always does. It might be hard to imagine, but when Anka was starting out, she was prone to on-air disasters. Now look at her. She's become ONBS's top newscaster. There's absolutely no question about that these days. I'm Anka. I'm a newscaster here at ONBS. My job is to deliver the news to as many people as possible. When I was starting out, I did experience some uh, close calls, but still, I find this job to be fulfilling. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. If I could stop running into walls, that'd be great. Alright, so... And again, my game is freaking the hell out. I don't know why it does that. I just thought of it. I might want to save. It's been a minute. Not like 11. I don't want to have to go through all that crap again. Although I'd be able to blaze through it since I've already covered a lot of it. So... I know that I still have my looks. But when I'm going before the TV camera, I have to be extra careful with my makeup. Dear, can you see that a lady is getting ready? Please don't come in any closer. You know, I'm already past you, so I don't see what the problem is, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, this isn't going well. I have to go on air soon, but my candy hasn't come back. Oh, Mommy! Candy, sweetheart! Mommy! Oh, I am glad to see you. I was worried about you. You seem to just disappear. I'm sorry, Mommy. I went out of your room for just a minute, but then I couldn't find it again. That guy there brought me here. Oh my, how very kind of you. Thank you. So, they actually mentioned it just earlier during the broadcast, but they actually called the character that I'm playing as a teen. That's kind of funny, because he's actually pretty minuscule for being said teen. He's either, like, right on the cusp of being a teen, like 13 or 14, or he's just minuscule for his age. I'm... Banking closer to that 13 range, he might even be like a preteen. I mean, looking at his stature, he's not that tall. Granted, he's not exactly far off from some other people's heights, but it's just when you look at him alone, he just looks deceptively small. So, you don't usually, I particularly, anyway, don't think of him as being much older than maybe young teen. Man, is she slow. How long is she going to keep me waiting? Grr. I'm supposed to be out covering a story with our oldest veteran reporter, but she takes forever getting ready every time. The day will be done at this rate. And here's the third location to heal up. 
Don't know why I did that, just did it out of habit, I guess. And trust me, there's a reason they put this here. And for those of you who are guessing, you're more than likely right. But go ahead and post some comments down below. Let me know why they... Why you think they put a heel station on the third floor of the ONBS station. Let's see how many of those get right. All right. Keeping information as data is fine, but I also like seeing it kept in printed form on paper. You see, I enjoy the feel of paper as I flip the pages. Okay. That's cool. And of course, again, I can walk anywhere else in that room, but the second I go close to the chest, they kick me out. Go figure. Hey, hey, you can't have... Uh, we can't have you wandering around here. It's not safe. Come on, out with you. Out you go. Really? This is where we keep sets and props. We can't have you getting hurt here. So out you go, all right? See, now... That's that's one of the things that kind of makes me think that he's a young teen, not like mid or late teens, but the earlier stages of it, because they called him a teen in the report, but in most other situations during the game, it's almost like they're like all the other NPCs are talking to a child or something to that effect. They treat him like a little kid. Not a young adult. Hence why I think that they see him... Why he's more of a young teen than mid to older stages of teen. So the way that they described a lone teen taking care of... Oh, I totally missed that chest. I'll get that later. Um, the, the reason why it was kind of misleading to say that it was a lone teen a lot of people will hear lone teen taking down a cipher organization and they're gonna think you know 18 19 he this it's a young man that's doing this there's no way that a 13 or so aged kid could possibly do this so even in video games there is some alteration, alteration of news sent out. So, if I remember correctly, I think I have to fight this kid. I'm going to go ahead and save just to be sure. I don't think that's the case. No, I don't think so. He just causes an uproar. I've been told by Net to not allow anyone through. He's working right now. Huh? You came from the Pokemon HQ lab, but I still can't let you through. I'll get in trouble if I do. Detro, do we have a visitor? Oh, Net, this person here says he's come calling from Pokemon HQ lab. Oh, yes, I was expecting him. Please, show him through. Oh, sure thing, I'll let him through. Now please, Net's waiting for you inside. What's up? pretty stark difference but you know whatever yeah okay same thing he said before all right <laughs> i'm called bit glad to meet you nets over there oh okay so it might have actually been five kids cuz i know the kid in ton port or the old the hmm I don't know. The, it was five years ago. <laughs> Were they young teens? Like, 12? I could see that. That would mean that these guys are now like 17. Give or take. 17, 18. I could see that. Because as kids in the other game, they were not like real young kids. They, well... <laughs> They weren't exactly old teens either, so it was, it, they kind of in the 
that gray area like our main character in this game. Hello, I've been expecting you. You're Hindu Junior, right? I'm Net. And this is Bit. He's my friend with an invaluable partner. Oh, he's my friend and an invaluable partner. My bad. Pleased to meet you. We hear from Professor Crane. We heard from Professor Crane. Sounds like you pulled off a daring rescue. Yes, Bit, but now's not the time to waste chatting. Let's see the data Professor Crane talked about. Hindu Jr. handed the data ROM to Net. I've deciphered something similar to this before. It brings back memories. Okay, I think it's going to take some time for me to check the contents of this data ROM. Can you wait a while? Wait while I do that? Hey, Net, how's this for an idea? Our news team should be out visiting Duking at one of his Poke spots to file a story about wild Pokemon. Since he's got free time, why not have him go visit Duking as well? Hey, that's good. Good suggestion, Bit. Are you interested in wild Pokemon? It wouldn't hurt to go look, you know. Oh, yes. May I have your PDA number? I'll contact you as soon as I find something out. Hindu Jr. gave the PDA number to Net. Thank you. I'll try to decipher this as quickly as possible. By the way, Bit, where is our news team? Um, I think they said the rock poke spot? I think this spot, poke spot, was the destination. Okay, Hindu Jr., go out to the poke spot and wait for me to call. Who knows? You may see some wild Pokemon. Alright, so... The interesting thing about this is... And I'm gonna go ahead and just... I th I'm thinking about making my videos 45 minutes long from now on. Just because half an hour just seems... Too little a time for my episodes when I don't have the ability to edit them like I would like. You know, cut out the time periods where I'm doing basically just this, walking around and not doing a whole lot. So, I kind of want to make them 45 minutes. At least that way there's a little more to it. Especially if I'm going through heavy storyline pieces. Hey, don't you think it's too tough for us to pull anything in this town? Our faces are too well known. Yeah, I hear ya. If we don't hurry, the boss will be impatient and come looking for us himself. <laughs> We're okay on that score. I went and snuck a transmitter on the boss. You can tell where he is by checking this radar, so we can always be ready for him when he blows his top. I have to hand it to you, Foley. Way to go. Huh? Trudley, looks like we've got an email. Gah! Is it the boss? Hmm, let's see. You two come back here right now. It says. Oh gosh, darn it all. He sounds like he's fuming. He might dock us dinner again. We'd better scoot back. Tch. Well, so much for this radar. It's not much use if the boss is just going to page us by email. Oh man, why do our lives have to be this tragic? <clears throat> now if we check where they were... Oh, oh, no, 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 That's it's a little later. That's right, that's right. My bad. This is the ONBS building. There have been too many shady people hanging around lately. I'm keeping an eye on things to keep out those sorts of bad elements. That's a flag. Sorry, but that's a freaking flag. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up that chest that I didn't see before. Ooh, a great ball. Nice. My name's Rocket. I'm warming up right now. Could I get you to clear the way? 
Jeez. Okay. There once was a town ruled by Sifer beneath the cliff here. The town was just called the Under. When Sifra's hold over the town was broken, the under citizens moved out into the sunlight. I'm one of them. ONBS's net is another former resident of the under. They went and buried the under to prevent people from getting to the abandoned town site. It's sad to see my hometown go like that. Yeah, that was that was an interesting piece. So all the all the kids from ONBS that run it uh, were in the under originally so kind of a cool piece to that let's go ahead and save so with the amount of time left I should be able to go to the poke spots and set up my traps for the wild Pokemon have you heard wild Pokemon have appeared Fatine, who's considered Pyrite's mother, foretold the appearance of Pokemon in the wild. Well, it came true. It's incredible. We'll now be able to catch wild Pokemon right here in the Ore region. Find what you seek, be it an object, person, or luck. Welcome to Fantine's fortune-telling chamber. Oh, uh, did it freeze right there? Okay. That figures. Well, I don't see much of a point in restarting it here just for 10 minutes. So, I guess I can call it good here. Thank you guys for joining me on this Let's Play of Pokemon XD. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you, uh... Well, mm, what was I going to say? Crap can't remember now anyway again thank you for joining i really appreciate you guys watching this and uh i will see you in the next episode bye